What in the hell is up with all these bottles? Find out in just a second. Aloha and welcome to a very special edition of the Vegas Tiki Show. This is an episode I've been wanting to do for quite a while. As you can see from the 8 million bottles on my bar, I'm making a lot of drinks today. Today, I am testing out three different Mai Tai recipes. One, the original from Trader Vic. Two, one from 1961 from the Kantiki in Cleveland, Ohio. And the third one from the Royal Hawaiian in Waikiki Beach. Let's get started. Now these recipes are all actually quite a bit different. Uh, so for the original today, we're gonna start with that one first and make the other two later. So to start us off with the OG Mai Tai from 1944 from Trader Vic, we need one ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. And the second ingredient you want is one quarter of an ounce of orgeat. I am using VG Reynolds orgeat. The next ingredient is simple syrup. I am using my own homemade simple syrup. Simple syrup. Very easy to make at home. And the fourth ingredient on our list is a dry curacao or an orange curacao. I am using the typical one, Pierre Ferran. And now we get to the rum. So this calls for one ounce of a dark Jamaican rum. I am using my go-to, which is Meyer's Original Dark. And the last ingredient is an aged Martinique rum. The one you're gonna most typically find is the Clement rum. Uh, for this one, I am using the BSOP variety. So for this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all the ingredients, put them into their appropriate mixing tins, and then I'm gonna blend them all together at the same time, just so that way I have the freshest pores for each one. That way I can truly distinguish which one I like the most and which one I can recommend the most. So now that we have all the ingredients for the Trader Vic Mai Tai, we're gonna move forward about 17 years to Cleveland, Ohio, to the Kentucky, where we're gonna try their variation of the Mai Tai. So the first ingredient for the Kentucky variation is three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. The next ingredient on the list is three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed orange juice. And the third ingredient is a honey mix. It, you can make your own honey mix at home. Uh, I really enjoy the BG Reynolds version of their honey mix. I think it tastes better than the crap that I make. So for this, we need three quarters of an ounce of their honey mix. And the next ingredient is a little bit different. It is a ginger infused simple syrup. It's super easy to make as well. You just cut off the, some ginger roots, boil them along with your typical simple syrup recipe, cover, yada yada. You can look up the recipes on Google. Super easy to make. So we will need three quarters of an ounce of ginger infused simple syrup. My mistake, one quarter of an ounce. One quarter of an ounce, I read that wrong. And now it's everybody's favorite part of making a tiki cocktail, the rums. So for this, you need a gold Puerto Rican rum. I am using a Bacardi 8 year. Yeah, 8 year. The next rum on our list is an Appleton Extra or any sort of Appleton Estate rum pretty much will do for this drink. So you need one and a half ounces of Appleton Estate rum. Like I said, this recipe was a little bit different. Uh, the next ingredient is six drops of Pernod. Six, close enough. And so for the Kentucky Mai Tai, there is one last ingredient and that is just one simple dash of Angostura bitters. And that is everything for the 1961 Kentucky Mai Tai. So uh, I want to take a bit of an interlude in this video uh, and just answer a question I've gotten a few times. So a lot of you will see I have these juices in these mini mason jars. Uh, the easiest way that I've found to squeeze uh, fruits, especially if you're going to be making a lot of drinks, whether you're having a party or you just want to keep a decent stock, these juices will hold for quite a bit. What I would do is go out and get yourself a large strainer like this you can strain much more of the fruit all at once plus there's a container on the bottom and then you pour it out so highly recommend one of these they're about 20 or 25 dollars on Amazon I'm sure if you have a bar uh, barware store near you they might have that in stock too but this thing has been a lifesaver compared to the typical smaller strainers that you would get this thing is fantastic so just a little side rant that I wanted to get off uh, answer some questions that people have been asking me over the past few now we jump ahead about 10 years and 3,000 miles as we head to Waikiki Beach to the surf bar at the Royal Hawaiian as we check out their version 
of the Mai Tai. So for this drink, the first ingredient that you need is one ounce of freshly squeezed orange juice. And the next ingredient for the Royal Hawaiian Mai Tai is one ounce of pineapple juice. I do not go through all of the pain and hassle of freshly, <laughs> freshly juicing pineapple. It sucks. So Dole tastes just fine to me. So we are using one ounce of Dole pineapple juice. For the Royal Hawaiian Mai Tai, for the third ingredient, you need one half ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. And in that same vein, our next ingredient is one quarter of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Time to whip out the Fiji Reynolds or shot again. We need one quarter of an ounce of this. Next on the list is one quarter of an ounce of homemade simple syrup. Just regular simple syrup, not the ginger infused from the last one. And again, we have to use the orange curacao, so we need one quarter of an ounce of this. And now to the rums. So for this, it calls for three different rums. The first rum being a light rum. There are a million different variations of light rum, all the way from Bacardi and Cruzan. Today I am using, as I like to do, Don Q Cristal. You need one ounce of this light rum. And the Myers Original Dark comes out again. You need one ounce of a dark Jamaican rum. And so the last ingredient on this list is a Demerara rum. Mm. I am using Hamilton 86 today. A lot of recipes call for El Dorado 5, 8, whatever. There's a lot of Demerara rums out there. Uh, I prefer Hamilton, but I do have uh, El Dorado in my cabinet as well. So you need one ounce of a Demerara rum. It's a hard word to say. And here we have it. We have all three rums put together. Now it's just time to shake. So for the Trader Vic Mai Tai, you shake this with ice. For the Kentucky Mai Tai, you flash blend for about five seconds with ice. And then again with the Royal Hawaiian, you also shake this with ice. Anyways, now that we have all of these shaken up and or blended, we will now pour them all unstrained into either double old fashioned glasses or Mai Tai glasses if you have them. And so for the Trader Vic Mai Tai, we will be using an actual Trader Vic glass. These are available in their online store. And so for the Kentucky Mai Tai, I'm using this Rad Dole glass that I got uh, a few days ago from Ski and Chase Tchotchke Shop, uh, which is in the Arts District here in Las Vegas. It's actually in the same antique mall as Tiki Lee's Tiki Store, so check out both of those the next time you're visiting. And now for the Royal Hawaiian Mai Tai, yet another mug that I picked up from Ski and Shays. This is a vintage Castagnola's Lobster House from Redondo Beach, California. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I enjoy it. All right, we have all three Mai Tais made. Now comes the garnishes. So the Trader Vic Mai Tai is super simple. You just want to get a couple mint sprigs. that's that. For the Kentucky Mai Tai, it's very similar. You want to put fresh mint in there. And then, oops, then also a pineapple chunk. The Royal Hawaiian Mai Tai has the same garnish as the Kentucky, a little bit of mint, and a pineapple chunk. All right, everybody, this is the moment I've been waiting for. This video has taken me like 45 minutes so far to put together after screwing up and spilling my liquor all over the place. So first, let's try the 1944 OG Trader Vic Mai Tai. As good as it ever was. That is great. So that little bit of lime, a little bit of simple syrup, those rums, they just blend perfectly together. So let me get a palate cleanser and we will try the 1961 Kentucky Mai Tai. All right, we have the OG Mai Tai out of the way. Let's try the 1961 Mai Tai from the Kentucky. Remember, this one's a little bit different because it has that ginger infused simple syrup in it. Yeah, it's a little bit different. It's not as sharp as uh, the OG one is. I think just because there's such a mix of, uh, of juices and syrups in it, you have that little bit of orange juice in there. Uh, you have that ginger infused simple syrup. You have a couple different kinds of rum. That one is also really, really good. 
So let's go to then the 1971 Royal Hawaiian Mai Tai from Waikiki Beach. Yeah, that one's even less sharp than the Kentucky one. This one is much more smooth, uh, which leads me to believe that ginger infused syrup kind of adds a little bit to the sharpness of the Kentucky one. Remember this one also has pineapple juice in it, a little bit more OJ than the Kentucky one. Uh, so let me get a couple, let me get a couple more drinks into each of these and then I'll come back and kind of give you my opinion on which one I like the best, not necessarily which one you would like the best. And here we are. So I've had a few sips of each of these. Um, now the Mai Tai obviously is basically the tiki drink. If you were to go out onto the street and ask somebody who's not a tiki fan, to name a tiki drink, the first one that's, that's gonna come to their mind is the Mai Tai, right? They're not probably gonna be thinking about the 1944 Trader Vic Mai Tai. They're gonna be thinking of that, kind of that bastardized version that you get at a lot of resorts nowadays. The big 24, 32 ounce cups. It's really just a crap load of sugar, a crap load of juices, and a little bit of rum. Kind of the, the stuff that you see here in Las Vegas at some of the non-tiki joints that have a Mai Tai on their menu. That being said, I know these two are a little bit different. They do have some added juices and some added flavor profiles to them compared to the original 1944, the OG Mai Tai from Trader Vic. If I had to rate all of these, one, two, and three, I would probably say the Royal Hawaiian is my favorite, followed by the original Mai Tai, and then the second, or the third place, excuse me, would be the Kentucky Mai Tai. They're all fantastic drinks. The Mai Tai, the OG Mai Tai, is super easy to make. It's only a handful of ingredients compared to these other two, especially the Kentucky with that ginger infused syrup. Uh, I love ginger, don't get me wrong. Uh, my favorite drink to make when I'm feeling really lazy is a Moscow Mule, so I love ginger beer. Uh, so it's not that I don't like it. I just think out of all of these three, I'd rate this one third, the OG second, and man, this Royal Hawaiian Mai Tai is fantastic. I really do enjoy it. It's not super sharp. It's not overly sugary. You don't have uh, that overt tartness that you would get from a, a lime or a lemon heavy drink like you would with the original Mai Tai. The original Mai Tai is still awesome. Like I said before, it's super easy to make. Honestly, all three of these are easy to make. Uh, if you are into tiki, you probably have most of the ingredients on hand, and if you don't, you can either get them, you know, pretty easily, or you can make them at home, like the ginger infused syrup. This is, I think, the only drink that I have that I make that has that ginger infused sugar syrup. Uh, so it's not something I keep on hand uh, that often. Everything else I have on hand all the time. My little spreadsheet that I keep for my bar, uh, ginger infused syrup is not on there. Everything else in the other two and 99% of that one is. So there it is, everybody. Thank you so much for sticking through with me to the end. This is gonna be easily my longest video that I've ever made so far on my Tiki channel. Uh, this was a, a video that I've wanted to make for a very long time. I've had the OG Mai Tai a million times in my life. I've had the Kentucky version quite a few times. I don't think I've ever had the Royal Hawaiian version until today, which is surprising me that the Royal Hawaiian is probably taking my number one spot. Uh, I figured it would be the OG Mai Tai. But hey, surprises are the spice of life. So hey, thanks again for watching. If you want more recipes, please like, share, and subscribe to all of my channels on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and even TikTok of all places. So hey, happy Friday. Akali Maluna, my friends. Cheers and enjoy. Yeah, that was long. I got a lot of drinks to finish. I thought it was gonna be 